Everything in this building, nothing is spontaneous. All has references to the past. This is a building of the past brought forward into the future. This is an evolutionary building, not revolutionary. The facade is inspired by the library in Salamanca in Spain, because the first architectural identity of Miami was the Hispano Moresque style. That was how they decided to build the city to have an architectural identity and to be European, if you will. The building was a storage company. It stored the, the interiors of people's houses. The um, houses were emptied about April. Everything in the house, including the cars, were taken out and brought here. And it was placed here for the summer because there was no air conditioning and uh, the, the houses were covered with tarpaulin and filled with poisonous gas to um, kill the bugs, the termites, the mosquitoes, scorpions. And here though, when they were taken out, they were restored or repaired in those vaults. There were craftsmen and workers who restored clothes, furniture, textiles, silver and so forth. And then it was placed back in the house when the people in November, after the hurricane season, when people came back, because the city of Miami Beach was only seasonal, the winter season. But then with air conditioning and the technological advances, people stopped using the building. And I kept using it because I kept putting my collection in it. And one day the owner, Mr. Matthews, came to me and said, Mickey, you're my last client. Either buy it or get out. And so I bought it. And then I found the great architect of the uh, Sarasota School, and he redimensioned the building to house a museum. We added a stage. We added that theater facade from Norristown, Pennsylvania. So we maintain the references, but we put it to use for our purposes, which was an educational resource. It documents visually history. This is a building which is forever. It's symbolic of the past and use for the future.